For this team of experts, it's a race against time. To uncover and record what was once a bustling Roman port before it's lost to the wind and waves forever. What we're doing in, in this area, we know that we have a large rectangular um, potential Roman warehouse, but we so that, that runs along this wall here, so you can see the large stones. We only have a few stones left. Most of it's either been robbed or eroded away. But we also have a, another wall that joins it at right angles. It comes across, cuts across the wall and continues down towards the sea. Now we're trying to find out the relationship of this wall and the, the main warehouse. Inside face at 12. OK. To those posted here, it's known as Dreamers Bay, a secluded spot of shoreline inside RF Aquatiri. These archaeologists from the University of Leicester are spending a month here, excavating what they believe are the remains of a late Roman or early Byzantine harbour, possibly dating back to 300 AD. One of the questions for archaeologists is what this harbour was used for. They think perhaps traders came here from Egypt or stopped here en route further west to Italy, bringing goods which were then traded in the ancient city of Curian, further around the coast. One of those taking part is 19-year-old archaeology student Kate Wilmot. She grew up close by at Episcopi Garrison and says few people here realise just how significant this site really is. To come back now and to see so many things that I had no idea existed then, and just a couple of cleanings, and you can tell the amazing archaeology that is here. It's kind of sad that many people on the bases don't understand what's going on down here, and I wish that I'd known earlier, because um, it's, it's a perfect site to come and explore if you're interested in history or archaeology. To reach this spot, most people drive, but for these remains, that's presenting a problem, because some motorists are unknowingly driving straight over them. Yes, I mean, our long, one of our longer-term objectives is working in collaboration uh, with uh, RAF Aquateria and also the local archaeological society to help promote the heritage on Aquateria, help people understand what's here and uh, appreciate it, but also to take part in helping to, to preserve it. And here we have a, a bit of an issue with people simply not knowing what's here. They're driving four-by-fours over it, which is going to help, help to destroy the archaeology. Um, so there may be uh, eventually some measures here just to help to protect the buildings. People will still be able to get here and look at them, but we hope not drive cars over them. It's hoped this dig will be the pilot for a much larger excavation sometime next year. Operation Nightingale, a project for injured personnel and veterans, is also expected to be involved, all part of efforts to chronicle and understand this site's historic heritage before it's too late. Simon Newton, Forces News, RF Aquatiri.